Hey guys, what we've got for today is a Norwegian real field meal, or one of their field rations. This what happens to be a breakfast version. It is menu number four, and if you look on there, you can see it is blueberry and vanilla muesli. Well, let's see what we got inside of this thing. Now, this is kind of very Norwegian. It is very simple, very simplistic. No crazy packaging, and it's relatively easy to open up. You just grab a corner, which I believe it's this corner down here, and you just <laughs> check that out. <laughs> just grab a corner, and, and you can see this is kind of delaminating. This is the first time I've ever had an experience of it doing that. Let's find another corner. This corner, because this whole thing should just peel right back. And here we go. Simple like that. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to go. Let's see what we have. Some tuna lime and pepper. That's exactly what you want to have for breakfast. Mmm. These are some of my most favorite drinks. They're the most flavorful that I think I've had in most of these rations. So we have an energy drink, and this is apple flavor. A little chocolate bar. Oat biscuits. These are very flavorful, very tasty. They go well with like a jam. Of course, you have your traditional liver. <laughs> you know how much of a fan I am about that. A little packet of raisins. Your coffee. Moist towelette or disinfection swab. A spoon, which is a nice touch for these current rations. Of course, you get some chewing gum to help clean your teeth. And lastly, and the last thing that is inside of here is you get your freeze-dried muesli. And there is a plastic bag, probably for your rubbish or if you need for your, uh, water purification tablets. I don't know. I, I don't really remember. I, I think these used to come with a jam to go with your your oat biscuits. <laughs> yeah. I guess we're going to use our liverwurst and maybe our tuna on. <laughs> that just sounds really funky. Well, I guess enough screwing around. Let's get this stuff made up and onto a tray. And just so you can see something else, if you look on the bottom, you can see the best before date on that. But of course, if you look at your freeze-dried Usually ration. Where is it? You can see the best before date is 2020. So, and the only thing I can see that might be bad is is the liverwurst. And according to me, it's it's bad when it's brand new. <laughs> but even this one is good until 2020. Cool. Like, <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful with these spoons <laughs> so you can get a little better view of that. Wow. All right. This calls for a half liter. And let's get everything else out onto the tray. We'll start off with this tuna. And we'll just plop it down right there. And this is tuna, a little lime and pepper. It smells awesome. Now I've had these before, I've really enjoyed them. It looks unfortunately like some of them are a bit crushed up, but it looks like these last ones seem to have survived. Ooh, well, maybe not pretty well. These are very tasty. Of course, got the raisins. <laughs> they look a bit dated and worn out. 
but we're going to put some of them in our oatmeal, so hopefully it'll help plump them back up just a little bit. And my most favorite part, the liver. Mm -mm -mm. And the chocolate looks absolutely perfect, except for just being broke right in the middle. Whoa, we even got some words on there. Cool. This is pretty much well done. It, it doesn't tell you exactly how much fluid to put in or liquid. It just gives you a fill line, and you kind of have to guess, but you can see right on here, it is 366 calories. You can see you can look inside and see all that vanilla blueberry muesli. Actually a pretty decent sized portion of that. And it does say that you can eat this cold. Take a look at that stuff. See all that steam coming off nice and glistening. Oh, this is going to be good. I just don't think I've ever had tuna in oatmeal. So that should be an interesting experience. And don't mind all the extra sounds of whatever going on. I've got the door open. Dogs need to go in and out and do their stuff. So they might be barking. Who knows? But let's start sampling. And just so I can get some of these to absorb in just a little bit, just right over here, I'm just going to set them in there. Just let them do their thing. Absorb some of this little milk that we've got. And I'm going to take a nice little bite from this side. And again, this is vanilla blueberry muesli. And that vanilla flavor really carries over. It's really nice and warm. Very hearty, very filling. This would be a total winner when I was out in the field. I'll grab some of this with our raisins. Yep, and I'm dripping. Now granted, in most cases, you don't want to have chewy muesli, but this just gives it such a nice little texture to this. It's very soft, very easy to chew. But you add this on here, you get that extra little bit of friction. And it just crumbles apart, and the sweetness of that raisins comes through. Bam. Absolutely outstanding. And now let me grab one of these little itty-bitty blueberries and see if that flavor comes out. And it does. You bite into that blueberry, it just kind of just pops and gives you that nice little blueberry rush across into that muesli backed up by that small vanilla flavor okay guys this is this is really good but all that being said after i've had this great muesli now i'm gonna bust into some fish but let's do it i'm always a fan of tuna especially this orifo or orifo depending where you're from this tuna lemon pepper or is it lime pepper tuna lime pepper but this stuff is pretty good. So I'll just try it on its own at first. I've got alligators staring at me saying, dude, just drop that right on the floor, please. Just just please just drop it right on the floor. And it's such a night, man. It, that, that lime citrus just comes through. They must put a ton of it in there because you can really taste that. And I really appreciate that. And I happen to love lime because I'm a major Thai fan. So I put lime, lime juice, and just about everything. And... Yeah, you probably don't do this, but I'm going to do it because how often do I have one of these Norwegian rations? There we go. We have an oat biscuit with lime and tuna pepper. That actually kind of works. You get the little sweetness of this along with the citrus. Mmm. Yeah. It's not. It's not exactly awesome. I don't. Uh, it's not a. It's not a great pairing, but you do get a little bit of the of the sweetness to carry through with that. These aren't very crunchy. They just kind of crumble apart and, and bond into your molars pretty much. But these do have such a nice flavor just on their own. And eating them on their own, they're just nice, soft. They're not, like I said, they're not crunchy, but they just crumble apart. I guess it's to help you digest and get your fiber, whatever you need. Let's have some of this black coffee. Mm, and it's sat there just long enough so it's not scalding hot. It's quite flavorful. And it is that Colombian coffee as well. 
and then we have some of these really sad looking raisins but that doesn't offset their taste they are really flavorful really juicy you have that sweetness they look like hell I gotta admit it but they taste great now with the liver <laughs> I've been watching one channel they were talking about a mop pocket uh, sandwich and traditionally it is made out of this exact brand of liver so I don't have my little buttered bread to put it on so I will grab one of these oat biscuits and we will go from there and I'm not a huge fan of liver well those of you to watch my vids definitely should know that but oh man it is a ton of it too what am I thinking about because you're not supposed to slop it on like that it's supposed to be just a nice thin little coat but I love glutton for punishment yeah no that graininess and, and that iron tinny kind of flavor man it's it's almost like getting kicked in the face by a mule it is powerful and we're gonna try thank god we're gonna try our nicely well, what does it look like our nicely combined apple drink mmm you know that that tastes good but that really doesn't cover up that flavor at all let's have some coffee mm. okay this kind of masks the man I still have the aftertaste after man all right maybe this will cover it up <laughs> man <laughs> yeah all right the raisins definitely work and don't get me wrong I'm not dissing liver it's just something that I don't particularly care for like some people don't like Brussels sprouts heck some people don't like spicy food Mexican food well I love certain foods there's some that I don't particularly care for and liver is definitely high on the list of stuff that I don't particularly care for but all that being said let me try to get another fair appraisal to this apple drink it definitely has that appley scent that smell mm. that good strong apple flavor it is not overly sweet it tastes like an unsweetened apple juice which is probably exactly what it is and then of course we have our chocolate that you could use for your radio watch if you had that early in the morning or you know a little later after breakfast you need a little pick-me-up between uh, breakfast and lunch but a nice dark chocolate and if you were curious it says that it is a 60 percent piece see if we can a 60 percent cocoa lactose free energy chocolate I know that's hard to read but that is exactly what it is and after you finish your meal, the last thing is some nice gum. We'll even see if this is xylitol gum to help clean your teeth after your meal. And two briquettes of xylitol gum. Well, everybody, this was a Norwegian Arctic ration. Menu number four. Blueberry and vanilla muesli. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to sit here and finish some of this stuff up, share it with the MRE Taster Dogs, and I will see you all on my next review. Bye.